Hello, my name is Kevin. This video tutorial will walk you through the basics of using Cisco Packet Tracer. Packet Tracer is a very powerful tool that allows you to emulate a network topology without physically building it. With this nifty piece of software, you won't need expensive pieces of equipment or spend hours wiring things together. By the time this video tutorial is over, you will know how to set up a simple network consisting of a router and two PCs, configure routers through the command line interface, use simulation mode to visually trace a ping. Let's begin. To make a simple network, first click the routers icon in the device area at the bottom and choose the 1841 router. Move your mouse to the logical workspace and click to place the router. Next, click End Devices in the device area. Choose the generic PC and place it in the workspace. Repeat to add a second PC. To connect them, click Connections and choose the copper crossover cable. Click on PC0 and click Fast Ethernet to, con to connect the cable to the PC's Fast Ethernet interface. Then, while in control of the cable, connect the other end to Router Zero's Fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface. Repeat with PC1 and the remaining Fast Ethernet interface on Router 0. Feel free to move the equipment around the workspace. You have now physically set up a network in Packet Tracer. Now, let's configure the network to make it work. Click Router 0. A window will come up. Go to the Command Line Interface or CLI tab. Here, with this question, continue with Configuration dialog. Type No. We will manually configure the router with commands. Press Return to get started, as this prompt suggests. At this prompt, type Enable to enter Privileged Exec Mode. This is similar to root in Unix systems. You will know you are in Privileged, privileged Exec Mode when you see the router name followed by a number sign. Type in Config T to enter Global Configuration Mode. Type Hostname Router 0 to name the router. Next, type Enable Secret Class to set an encrypted password for logging into Privileged Exec Mode. In real-world situations, class is obviously not an acceptable password, but for the purposes of these tutorials, we will use either class or Cisco for the password. Configure the password for the console line by entering line con zero and then password Cisco. Enter login to enable password prompting. Enter exit to return to global configuration mode. Configure the password for the virtual terminal lines by entering line VTY 0 space 4 and then password Cisco. Again, enter login to enable the password requirement and then exit to return. To configure the fast Ethernet interfaces, enter interface and then the interface name. In this case, we'll start with fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. Next, enter in IP address 192.168.1.1 space 255.255.255.0. Zero, to set this interface's IP address and subnet mask. Although optional, you may want to add a description to the interface for a later reference by entering in description router zero fast ethernet zero slash zero. 
Alas, entered the, the command no shutdown to start the interface. Exit back to global config mode. Repeat with fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Except this time, use IP address 192.168.2.1 for the IP address. And for the description, you can use router 0, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. And don't forget to type in no shutdown to enable the interface. Exit out of interface config mode and then exit out of global config mode. Hit enter at this prompt and you will be back at privileged exec mode. Enter in show running dash config to display the current configuration. Continuously hit enter to scroll down. You will see all the configurations you just set. To save this configuration to the NVRAM so that when the router boots up, it automatically loads it, enter in copy running dash config space startup dash config. Hit enter at this prompt to confirm. Router configuration is now complete. Close the router zero window. To configure the PCs, first click PC zero. Go to the desktop tab. Here, click IP configuration. We will set a static IP. Set the IP address to 192.168 dot one dot two then hit tab keep the default subnet mask hit tab again and enter 192.168.1.1 for the default gateway close the PC0 window repeat with PC1 except for the IP address use 192.168.2.2 and default gateway 192.168.2.1 and then close PC1's window. By now there should be green dots on the cables near the devices. This means that they are connected. Let's try pinging PC1 from PC0. Click PC0. Go to the desktop tab and click command prompt. This acts just like a DOS prompt in a Windows operating system. For example, you can type in IP config and you can see the details of the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. Enter the command ping 192.168.2.2 to ping PC1. At first, you may get a request timed out, but after that, the ping should succeed. You can try again, and it should be fine. The ping is successful. Now, let's visually see the ping with simulation mode. Near the bottom right corner, you will see a tab with a clock labeled real time. Click the tab behind it to activate simulation mode. Here, click edit filters, Click the show all slash none box once to clear the selections. Check off ICMP and click out of that. On the right sidebar, click the first yellow envelope with a plus, this one. This will allow us to choose a source and destination for our PDU or protocol data unit. Click PC0 and then click PC1. 
an envelope with a randomly assigned co a color will appear at PC0. In this case, it's green. Click Auto Capture slash Play to begin the ping simulation. Observe as the PDU travels to Router 0 and then to PC1 and then back. Once it returns back to PC0, the PDU is verified and checked off, which means the ping was a success. Done. You have now successfully completed this packet tracer tutorial. Thanks for watching.